So that's cool. Hello guys. I spent a week in a Renault T-High series tractor unit, which is 22 plate, which is means 2022 reg. It's got 16,000 miles in it. Just want to give you a bit of review as, a, as an end user, not as an expert. I'm not a mechanic and I don't know specifications. I can tell you what's my experience with it, what I liked about it, what I didn't like about it. So basically my uh, video is not an expert video. Please don't try to learn <laughs> anything. It's just my personal opinion. That's what I can tell. So basically, <clears throat> it was a nice experience. However, it had some annoying things. For example, the seat is really nice. I mean, look really nice. Even the passenger seat, but very uncomfortable. <clears throat> you can adjust it in many, many ways. You got buttons here to adjust um, many things. Height, tilt, ventilation seat warming you can adjust the suspension on it up and down lumbar support back support you can tilt the backrest but for some reason it's uncomfortable <laughs> same with the passenger seat it's on air yeah <laughs> i didn't use it honestly my seat is there <laughs> the bed it's quite nice but again it's uh, kind of uncomfortable I don't know how to lift it. There is some um, storage that's uh, ratchet straps, that's the fridge. There is another storage area. Fridge. It's not a full size fridge. But it's uh, it's quite good. It keeps your, keeps your uh, food cool. I had a top bunk, but I never used it. Skylight, which I can't reach, basically. <laughs> the tall cab. I can reach it. It's got mosquito net on it, so that's cool. It's got plenty of uh, storage space. Uh, you've got a locker here. You've got some uh, mesh protected open shelf here. You've got another locker. There is one which you can uh, lock with the key. There is another one just here. Tachograph unit. <laughs> Some other buttons. There is a USB. The lights are quite bendy. And there is another light on the other side as well. I've had a tally. <laughs> which I didn't use. Again, you can shut the curtains. You've got the mirrors. One, two, three, four, five, six mirrors. So the light is on again. I don't know why. When I wanted to put them on, they didn't come on. Basically, I spent my nights in dark. I'm glad it's dark, like from 10 o'clock in the evening. So it, it wasn't a big problem for me, but I don't know how to put them on. I tried to put the key in all the time, you know, the ignition key uh, to do ignition, but of course it's keyless. That thing when you've done something for years in the same way and then um, it changes, you still try to do the old way. <laughs> I've had a, a built-in inverter. I think that's an option. I mean a choice, it's not for every every unit it doesn't come with every unit it's a flat floor as you can see there is no bump in the middle <laughs> more storage space here the speakers the sound system is quite good some hooks for your coats there is a controller for the heater the radio the light which again i couldn't make it work <laughs> usb but the c type i think so it's not like normal USB. Actually, I struggle to put uh, my phone on charge because I still have the old style, not the C. 
I had some more storage there, but I had my pillow over, so I didn't use it. <laughs> I didn't use it much. Uh, what else can I show you? What else? What else? Driver seat. So you press this button down here to tilt, tilt the steering wheel, which is quite nice compared to the previous Renaults. You can tilt it in so many ways. And then push it down, pull it up, which is good. Let's leave it like this. I'll show you the dashboard. Okay, <clears throat> a little shelf, vents for air. There is a cup uh, holder. There is only one cup holder, which is weird. <laughs> you got some sockets here. Uh, C-type USB again, two. That's your cigarette lighter. There is a little mm, drawer here with all little bits with taco rolls and you can put your glasses in. There is another shelf here. Not very deep. There is another holder for your uh, fuel cards. There is another little space for your stuff. If you got a plenty of stuff. Again, the usual pockets on the door. You can control mirrors here and then up and down. You look, lock the door just pressing it down. Sun visor. Just pull it up and then move it like this. You lock it. I mean open it and then push it back. This sun visor is technically. Uh, pull it down. And then you press this little latch and then it goes back. <coughs> there is another uh, holder. You can keep your um, licenses there or passport or whatever. Okay, let's go to the dashboard. I've had a nice uh, infotainment system. It's quite good actually, the sound was nice. That's the handbrake. You just push, push it and pull it. The hazard light switch, cruise control. I mean, you can switch between cruise control and speed limiter. That's air conditioning, that's mirror heater, uh, windshield heating. That's where you control your um, um, temperature, minus and plus. It's digital. And you can uh, adjust the vents, that's night heater. And that's where you start your engine because it's a keyless... Uh, it's a keyless um, start. So the unit is detecting the key, this one. It detects uh, remote control basically. And you can start the engine. <laughs> Just press the button, you don't need to put the key in the ignition start the engine you have to press uh, the brake and press the start button so that's your dashboard fuel add blue uh, air pressure in the tanks and temperature for the engine all the warning lights you can see, of course, the speed, um, the state of the gear, gears, gearbox. I've got my, <laughs> and then you got your uh, brake information. But you can switch so many things. It's 24 Celsius, 9:38 in the morning. That's your rev counter. You control the computer by this button. And the other controller is just behind behind the steering wheel here. I don't know if you can see it. There is a little button here. So that's when you press it. You control you control the computer going up and down. You can set so many things, backlight level, sound, language, time, date, units, uh, going back and then cancel. You can select this one. Trip computer, tachograph log, load indicator, tire pressure, load indicator. Ooh, cool. I haven't got a trailer on, so. <laughs> okay, 
So basically you control the cruise control on here, you can put it on and off, reset, you can set to speeds which you often use and then behind the wheel so that's when you can adjust your speed. <laughs> Okay, um, window washer options, that's your gear stick basically, you control the gears there and you have your media control here, that's the media control, it's quite awkward position, I didn't like it actually there, I much more prefer to be on the dash. I think that's it, not much to say from inside, kind of liked it, but I had some, you know, issues with the seat, the media controller, the light, that's it. Okay, I'm going to show you from outside. It looks very impressive, big and mean, mean machine. <laughs> Can I open this thingy? <coughs> it's a bench. <laughs> or you can step on it and well if you can reach <laughs> I can't really clean the windscreen or check the wipers going to the driver's side you open the door there is four steps one two three four steps and then the fifth is floor level you got the locker opener here so you open the locker, there are some space there. I can't reach the top because it's too tall, so I have to pull this down and close it like this. <laughs> and there is another locker, which is a surprise. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. There's some more um, space. The Azulu tank is on the driver's side at the moment, but I think you can swap it over. Uh, Susie's, they are still nice and clean. I've got some brush <laughs> there. Uh, catwalk. It's got middle axle. It's up because it's empty. I mean, not empty, but not even. I have a trailer on. Fifth wheel. That's the trailer and the pin. Can you see the pin? That's how the trailer connects uh, to the unit, to the fifth wheel when it's on. It's not connected now, so that's why you can see it. If it's connected properly, you won't be able to see that. Uh, that's the mechanism which is connects uh, the trailer. And that's the dock clip, just in case you don't know. <laughs> that's the air tank. So that's the fifth wheel from behind and the trailer uh, pin that goes into the fifth wheel when, um, when it's connected properly and where this, the shiny part in the middle um, there is a latch which is uh, hugging, hugging uh, the pin basically and it won't let go no matter what <laughs> it won't let go. <laughs> Until we release it, release it with the handle. Okay. This are tank. That's why you climb up here. So you can open uh, the wing like this. It, it opens outwards. Then hold on on the rail and climb up on the catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be here. Actually, I feel like I would go work again. I'm having a weekend off. But I feel like I could go again to work. I like to go work. <laughs> but obviously I need some rest. And, and then and then just close it like this. You got another locker here and here. So basically four four lockers. What I enjoyed in this unit is powerful extremely easy to maneuver with it because the steering wheel i mean steering is really easy no effort at all sometimes when i started on monday i oversteered steer it because it's too easy actually <laughs> to steer it and so powerful very very easy to maneuver and steer it 
um, spacious basically. It's still nice and clean, perfect for tramping. However, it's a bit plasticky, you know what I mean? It's a bit plasticky. The infotainment system is a bit, looks cheap, but it's still good, still good. Compared to Scania, it's a bit like, you know, <laughs> but that's, it's nice. I like the fridge, I like the inverter in it. The seat is uncomfortable, however, it looks really nice. The foam is a bit too thin. My bum was hurting <laughs> when I was driving three, four hours. It was like, oh my God, I couldn't get out. I like that it's tall compared to other lorries on the road. I felt like I'm always taller than everybody else, which is obviously doesn't mean anything while you drive but it, it's just a nice feeling to <laughs> sit tall <laughs> it gives you a kind of superior feeling <laughs> i know it's bad hope you liked my tour that was my cabin tour um, as i said i'm not an expert i don't know specifications much i'm just a user i'm only an end user as a lorry driver i give you my opinion my experience spending a week in this unit my bosses will come any minute now take the keys and the paperwork and i'm finishing and off off for my weekend bye guys